talk about generating songs with AI, artificial intelligence. Um, I've been doing this for probably about two or three weeks now since I found this tool, and I've had the most fun I think I've ever had with an AI tool, and I just keep coming back and making more because they're easy and they're fun, and they're actually full songs. So in the past, I've found a couple of these AI music generators, but they only do three, you know, three seconds, five seconds, 10 second clips, which aren't very much fun. But this is the one right here that I've really gra gravitated toward. This one's called loudme.ai, L-O-U-D-M-E dot A-I. I will put all the links in the uh, description of this video. And this one does music. This one does sound effects. This one does free sound effects. Um, and it's pretty, pretty well done. There's a subscription based part of it. I think it was like $10 a month for the entry level subscription and it goes up from there. I've just been using the free version and getting along just fine for now, but I'm considering upgrading because it is so much fun and I'm burning through credits left and right. So when I start to make a song, I don't start here on the site. I actually start with ChatGPT. So let's uh, follow along with me. Let's go to ChatGPT, which hopefully you have on your computer. It's a free download if you don't. So install that. And you've probably used ChatGPT before, so it's no different. What I've done here is I've gone ahead and already typed up the prompt that I'm going to be looking for. And what I'm doing here is I'm basically using ChatGPT to write the lyrics of the song. Or it's going to write me the lyrics of the song. I'm going to be very descriptive here as far as what I'm typing in because I want the song to have the elements that I'm looking for. So don't be afraid to overtype here. You can put in as much as you want. You can put in as little as you want. But the more you put in, the better off the song is going to get. So basically start a brand new prompt. And I've st always started with write me some song lyrics about. And I've already used this particular prompt before. This is for my improv class when I was doing some funny songs for that class. I've pretty much used this same exact prompt already. So I just went ahead and copied and pasted that right in there. So you're going to see something very important at the end of your prompt, though. When you're done, you're going to want to type in this line and these seven items below. I want you to write the song with this structure. Verse 1, verse 2, chorus. Verse 3, bridge, chorus, and outro. I'm going to put that in the show notes so you can just copy and paste that. That just tells ChatGPT to write the song in a, a very normal structure, just so it's not off the rails. You probably don't have to use that, but I've always used it, and it's always worked out very well. So again, be as descriptive as you can about the song. Explain that you want the song to be maybe peppy or pop or fun or maybe a country feel to it. Again, you're not writing the music yet. You're just writing the lyrics, but it will know, you know, a country song is going to have a different lyrics structure than a pop song would most of the time. So think about that. So I typed all this in. I'm going to hit return or upload and give it one second. And your song will basically be written for you in real time on screen. There's our verse one. An interesting thing I just noticed in verse one is it says every Wednesday night. It actually remembered that from the last time I ran this prompt. So it stored that in its memory. Our class is actually on a different night, but that's okay. I'm just going to let that one go for now. But it does remember lots of little things like that. Um, funny enough too, in verse two, it says a zip, zap, zop. That's one of the games we play in our class. I didn't mention that. You can see I didn't type anything about that. I've never typed that in before but it's using its data to know that's one of the improv games that we play. So there we go, right down to the chorus, to the verses, to the bridge, to the last chorus, and then to the outro. So I'm just going to assume it's fun. I'm not going to read through it line by line, but we're going to get what we get for now. So all you're going to want to do now is basically just copy it. So start from the bottom, drag up, right to the top, verse 1, copy that. You can also hit the little copy button right down here to... Uh, right here. If you can see that, that's the copy button. Back to the web right here. And you'll notice there is a description. So what we're going to want to start with there is the description of the song. What are you looking for? I want a fun 1990s sounding song about our weekly improv class. Let's make it sound like a pop song, maybe a female singer, acoustic guitar, upbeat, 
and very easy to hear the lyrics. Um, I've been trying this out a little bit because sometimes with the songs that come back, the lyrics, you can't hear them because the music is so loud. So I'm trying to craft it to say, turn down the uh, music. Uh, you can't put too much in there. So I'm just going to let that ride for now. So that's basically the, the main description. You only have 200 characters to work with. So just try to make it as short and sweet as possible. The important part here is advanced features. If you click on this, you're going to notice this is the lyrics area. And I want to come into custom, click on custom. This allows you to take that paste, or I'm sorry, the copy that we did from ChatGPT, and we're going to paste it right in there. So there's all our words ready to go. You can even leave in verse one, verse two, and all that stuff. It figures all that out. So once you do that, you notice too, I got 2,500 words to play with, and I'm only at 2,000. So that's perfect. That's why I like that structure. And then the style of the music, we're going to do some, maybe some pop, maybe some happy. Let's make it inspiring. Let's make it 90s pop, um, acoustic guitar, uh, maybe, I don't know, let's put in, you know, female lead singer. Um, I've just found that, I, I don't know, the music that comes back, it always, for some reason, sounds better when the the lead singer is a female in this particular program. Not to say the male singers aren't bad, but I've just been having better results with the female lead singers. Um, fun. Try to put in as many. Again, you have about 100, you have 100 characters here, so you can kind of stack it to your uh, easy to listen. Or no, let's say um, clear lyrics. And again, you're going to play around with this every time you do this, so don't be afraid. It's There's no right way to do this. You're just going to kind of, it's like a lump of clay. You're just kind of crafting it here and there to see what comes out. We can also put a title in here. Uh, let's just call it Improv Class uh, Theme Redone. So that's pretty much it. When I hit Create, what's going to happen here is over here on the right side, you're going to see two brand new songs getting created in real time. So it's working it all out. It's going to put a fun little, it puts these little album cover arts on there, which are always fun to look at. Um, I was doing some songs last night for my podcast, and these, <laughs> I was trying to make it do like a Rolling Stone sound. It doesn't sound anything like a Rolling Stone sound, but it almost doesn't matter because the stuff that's coming back is so good that it doesn't even matter. I just let it, I just let it go. So we're going to give that a few seconds here. It usually takes about, I'd say, a 60 to 90 seconds, somewhere in there. You can already see that it's already filling out some of it. And as these things spin here, these little spinners, that means it's actually building the song. So you can't hear it until it's all done. So we're just going to let it go. And I will drop back in here in a few seconds to show you the end result. Here we are back in loudme.ai. The two songs have been created. I'm going to play a short snippet of each one, and I'm just going to get the lyrics over in ChatGPT up on the screen so you can actually see it in real time. So let's start with the first one and see what we got. Everyone's tonight, we're all in the groove. Eliza and Amanda with the quick moves. Pong's got the wit, Marisol's got the flair. Heather cracks the choke and we're rolling in air. Lee's got the time and Mary that brings the scene. Mark's in the mix, keeping things lean. Sarah's at the front, second city pride. Teaching us the tricks, we're ready for the ride. Verse 2. We jump into games, no script, no plan But when we hit the stage, we all understand From zip zaps up to a scene so bold This class is pure gold, let the stories unfold Laugh until we drop, then we head out the door The drinks keep flowing, but we laugh even more We're bonding, we're growing week after week Our improv adventure's hitting its peak Improv class, we're living in the moment No lines to rehearse, just pure enjoyment We're loose, we're wild, and we're on the spot So there's the first song, which again, it's not a, a masterpiece, but it was literally created in about three minutes or less. Um, so it's just fun to send these around to your friends and uh, make some cool tunes here and there without having to learn music or be a musician. But 
the technology is here, so while it's here, you might as well enjoy it. Uh, number two song, very similar. We'll start that one here. All right, let's uh, back that up a little bit. Everyone's in night, we're all in the groove. Liza and Amanda with the quick moves. Pam's got the wit, Mari Saul's got the flair. Heather cracks a joke, and we're rolling in an air. Lee's got the timing, where it brings the scene. Mark's in the mix, keeping things lean. Sarah's at the front, second city pride. Teaching us the trick, we're ready for the ride. No plan, but when we hit the stage, we all understand. From zip zaps up to a scene so bold, this class is pure gold. Let the stories unfold. Laugh so until we you kind of get the point. Uh, very similar sounding songs, and again, you can go back and change all that. You know, don't be afraid. If you don't like the first two songs, you can just go back and basically start with a new a new description. Just say, hey, I want it to be a classic rock sounding song this time. I want it to have a '70s feel. Um, so a couple of the songs I did earlier. You know, I tried to kind of come up with a classic rock theme. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. For example, this one has a little guitar sound. Twice a week, it's time to play. Trivia Blast is on its way. Ten quick questions plus a bonus, too. Test your brain, see what you can do. From Spotify to Apple, Amazon, and more. So you can kind of get a feel for different sounds that it comes up with. I mean, you could do rap, you could do country songs, you could just do, you know, there's even, uh, there's sound effects in here too. You can make your own sound effects. So you can switch over to that and then basically type in, <clears throat> excuse me, what you're looking for and it will create you sound effects. Uh, they also have a free sound effects database on here too, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of things you can play around with in there, you know, classic ringtone, for example, or, you know, I don't know, whatever they have on here, chimes, bells. And you can even just reuse the prompt. If you want your own sound effect, just reuse the prompt and type in what you're looking for, and it will basically create it for you in real time. So that's a little bit about Loud Me. I hope uh, you enjoy it. And I think the next uh, thing on the horizon to watch out for, now that we have a tool like this that's becoming easier and cheaper to use, is you will most likely be able to make your own music videos next. Uh, the technology is slowly bubbling down to us where you can actually make full AI generated video and then you add music on top of it like this and then you have yourself an MTV style music video you know with a 1980s flair to it or whatever you're looking for so I would predict within the next year that's going to be on our lap so not only can we make music but we'll actually be able to make our own music videos and have fun with that so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I will be coming back with some more AI tutorials in the very near future stay tuned and I'll see you next time